Hello and welcome back to another ASMR video. In today's video, I'll be doing some soft, soft, soft talking. Um, because I was requested in a comment recently, um, I have no plans, I will just ramble for the next 20 or so minutes. Firstly, um, my ventilation for my flat went from not existing at all and being completely broken, meaning the flat would slowly get hotter and hotter over the day and the ma the, dre the air was very stale it was really bad but now it's the complete opposite they fixed it and now it's permanently on as in like a full pelt on I don't know whether you can hear it I avoided recording this just in case I could get it fixed, but I can't. I have actually damaged the roof trying to cover it up for this video. Um, I can't really show you, but um, that's another reason why I chose to do a soft speaking, because it's a lot harder to do more sensitive whispering when I can't have the volume that loud or you get bombarded by the sound of wind um, yeah it's really loud and it makes sleeping very hard so but I'm sure it will be fixed soon I need to Use the tipex or something to cover up those those massive bits of paint that are missing now. I don't know how I'll do that. I'll find something. Either white paint or a tipex. And hopefully it won't be too noticeable. <laughs> um the complaining out of the way. I've just reached a hundred subscribers this week. I think I'm at 105 now. This week I've gained a lot of subscribers and I don't know why. My last video is one of my least successful videos out of my ASMR. And, um, I just want to then see such a spike in my subscribers in the past week. Um, but thank you very much. It's quite a little achievement for me. And it makes me feel good. I didn't really expect it. Um, especially not so fast. I didn't realise it. I get like one or two subscribers a day and I'm like, what the heck? All from that Jojo collab. It was, it's quite the surreal thing, I guess. I just didn't expect it. But I'm honoured. I'm honoured that there's people out there who are interested in keeping on watching my videos. And I hope to keep making videos, even though the world is pretty against me at the moment for making them. I'll just... Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. But... Oh well. Oh well. 
how yeah I owe it to the world telling me no I will I'm determined to keep making these videos for you guys and I hope you can enjoy them even with this decreasing quality because of various things in the world I'm still very just had a, a day of work, working in Sainsbury's, and I'm a bit knackered, I came home and I was like, I need to record this video, I need to get a video out now, so this is the video, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very, very, very much, very much. It's crazy to think that there is a 100 people out there who know about my channel, let alone more than 100 people. Because there's 400 views on one of my ASMR videos. 500 it might be now, I don't know. I haven't checked in a few days. Oh, that's why I'm yawning so much. Well, I hope you are doing absolutely fantastically today. I hope everything went as planned. And you're feeling wonderful. And I want you to know that you are wonderful. Every single one of you is wonderful to me. Hope you enjoy my little soft speaking. It's not something I listen to very often. Apparently I have a very soft voice for some of the stuff like this. And my voice calms people. So... I hope it calms you too. I think the opposite. I feel like I talk very quickly sometimes. Or oh, at least very juddery. Apparently, but sitting down and doing this is making me sleepy. I'm not sure I've done an ASMR video where I haven't yawned 20 times. I could do a video a day and get amazing sleep but you just would never get a video because I'd just be asleep I'd get halfway through the video and fall asleep it's happened a few times it's happened a few times <laughs> so started working and it doesn't feel good I'm going to be honest doesn't feel good over the summer I did a full time work where I used to live and where my hometown um, and it burnt me out a lot and then I come to I wasn't able I didn't have much time to do what I wanted to do come here and now I'm just doing a full time education my music course and it's super duper fun at the moment I'll talk about that a bit later maybe but I'm then like I'm more busy than I thought I'd be I've got projects and over on, on projects on projects and I just kind of I'm in a city that you're like I'm in a uni, I, I want to do more uni things, I want to go out, go partying, I guess. I think I'm going to the club tomorrow, because one of my mates is performing. <laughs> so, 
home. But it's then a Monday night, and I have to get up at nine the next day. Well, I have a lecture at nine the ne- on Tuesday, so I've got to get up at like seven thirty, and that's then a grim. I can't. <laughs> I then can't have a proper night out. You know, so <laughs> we'll see. I'll go tomorrow, but you know. And then, so that's, but I have to get up early every single day for uni, um, besides Friday, I, I get Friday off, but then I work Thursdays and Sundays, so I have a, pretty much a, well, I guess it kind of becomes a five day, this week wasn't because I had to work the Friday for training, for the work, so just got a six day week pretty much which was I'm pretty knackered like when they say full time education it is full time it feels constantly thinking about it I've been making a presentation that is fantastic um I recommend listening to the song actually it's um that I did the presentation doing the presentation on it's called Frontier Psychiatrist by The Avalanches. It's like, um, it's part of the genre Plunder Phonics, which is sampling to the extreme. It doesn't use any of its original stuff, so the music is all constructed of other people's or of samples. <coughs> and this particular song uses like movie dialogue and like comedy shows and stuff to make this absolutely like fantastic piece of music it's so good and so coherent for like 27 different sources or something of samples like 27 yeah 27 different sources and then there's more samples that come from those 27 so there's Probably close to a hundred different samples, and it's just insane. They all come from different parts of the world and different, very different things. It was released in two thousand, but they this year they remastered it for twentieth anniversary. Not sure why they released it this year, but I've also seen where it was released in two thousand and two. So I'm unsure of when it was actually released. <laughs> Just probably bad as I'm um, doing an interview on oh no, not an interview, a presentation on it. But yes, I very much recommend that piece of music. Frontier Psychiatrist by the Avalanches. Very good background piece of music. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I should do more of this. Maybe I should like do more of like a music review or like um tell you more about music you should be recommendations might help soothe so that's a good one to have in the background it's good like good studying song I think it's very good studying the whole album um I forgot the album is called but it's very good <laughs> Um, Plunderphonics as a genre is a very good, like, background kind of music. Um, it's really, like, intelligent stuff, I feel like. There's something about it. It's much better than, like, hip-hop sampling. (laughs) In my opinion, of course. Everyone's subject to their own opinion. Um... Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, you know, a jazz album that I listen to a lot, and it helps me, it actually helps a lot with nerves. I listen to it every time I've got to talk to someone. Um, it's actually pretty surreal in the past few days. I've talked to quite a few famous people. I say a few, I talked to two. Um, one is very, it's not really famous, it's like background famous. It's, um, 
a edit an old editor for Top Gear. Um, he, he has worked on Antiques Roadshow and loads of like documentaries and stuff like that. I talked to him recently. He works for the BBC. Effectively, he's a producer for the BBC, and um, I'm doing a present few presentations for him. I guess he doesn't add to his PowerPoint. Um, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I got in, one of my lecturers got me in contact with him, so that's super cool. And it's a bit surreal to talk to someone of such prestige, quite a big um, IMDb. And then um, I played Minecraft with Robbie um, Cave Town. Um, which also an artist I very much recommend if you haven't heard of him. Um, he makes very, very cool music. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of indie pop, uh, alternative indie pop. I like to call it internet pop. It has a very... that kind of vibe. It's very, very cool, very unique as well. But I have lots of... Lots and lots of merch from him because all of his merch is really cool. I've got a hoodie coming. I'll show you that when it arrives. But yes, very much watch, what, listen to Cave Town. But anyway, the jazz band. So I play this to just really soothe my nerves. I'm like, oh, these people are so cool. I mean, especially Cave Town. I mean, I'm obsessed with his music a bit, um, and I probably spent about. 150 quid on um, merch, but um, he the music the bat uh, the album is Source by Nubia Garcia Nubia uh, Yeah, Nubia, N-U-B-Y-A, Garcia, G-A-R-C-I-A, and the album is Source. Very, very good album. It's just a, just a jazz album, modern jazz album, came out last year. Um, it's my go-to background album at the moment. Um, very much recommend. I guess it's, it's, uh, it's not something I study, but it's, um, something I do a lot of, I listen, I have to listen, I have to listen to a lot of music and research a lot of music for my course, so I guess I can utilise that and tell you some music that, and recommend some music, um, it'd be really cool to hear your guys' feedback as well, and what kind of music you're into I'm very much into like hearing what people are into and um, <laughs> expanding my own little taste because I'm not I don't I don't like to discriminate with what I listen to you know I mean if that makes sense maybe discriminate's not the right word but I want to um, I want to unlearn listen to more music and the more different it is, the better, generally. Uh, the more niche. I like more niche things. I'm not too into uh, Drake. Or... Kanye West. Um, because... They just... I don't know. They feel a bit too mainstream for me. And they're both horrifically egotistical for my liking and I don't want to give them the satisfaction <laughs> but generally I'm pretty good with music I'm Phineas Billy Eilish's brother is probably my favourite producer it's an insight into who I am Cape Town he's also one of my favourite producers 
James May. James May. James Bay. He's one of my favourite artists. Louis Capaldi. Then all the mainstream stuff. Um, Kay Flay. Aurora, who's the um, siren in Frozen 2. Mm-hmm. That's Aurora's voice. She's got very amazing music. She's Icelandic. And, oh, her 2016 album is absolutely fantastic. I want it on vinyl so bad. But I don't have it. And I need it. Dodie. Dodie's another good one. I like Dodie. Tessa Violet. Olivia Rodrigo's album is pretty good. I like that one. Um, oh, there's loads. I could keep going, I think. I actually really like Coldplay's 2019 album. I think they've just released a new one, but I haven't listened to it yet. But Coldplay's 2019 album was actually very different from Coldplay and very, very good. Um, a lot more stripped back. It was more acoustic, which I really liked. Um... I have a 77 hour playlist that I listen to all the time for various artists. I just can't think. Alexander, 23. Yep. Um, those kind of people. Indie pop is my general vibe, but. Yeah. Anything. David Bowie, or David Bowie's last album. Star in 2016 when he passed. Oh, that album is my favourite album of all time. I think it captures his acceptance of cancer fantastically. Um, and maybe one time, one of the videos, I'll show you my final collection. Only small small portion of it. I have a small portion in this wardrobe here at the very box and I've got very I've got like a lock box for my vinyl and I haven't brought all of it. This is my newer generally my newer stuff. I have at home a lot of original Beatles. I'm very into the Beatles. Not that I've listened to them much recently but I have a lot of original Beatles music because my grandparents gave it to me a few years ago. Um, one of them's framed it's um, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Cup Band the most sold album in the world I think still to this day oh it got overtaken recently um, but it's a lot easier to sell albums now to be fair if you think about it back then the only medium was vinyl You had to go to a record store and buy it. Now, it's all on your phone. I don't want to sound like I'm old. I'm a tech student. I love, I love Spotify, but... Was it Drake that said that he's better than the Beatles or something? He got a tattoo of him that but representing him being better than the Beatles because one of his songs surpassed the Beatles. One of his albums surpassed that album, Beatles album. Like, didn't take into the account and they're like <laughs> the future <laughs> and the development of an accessibility of music. Like, recording music um, rec- recording music has come a, was only just starting to kind of become a thing back then like for about 50 years but like properly it hasn't been around since I know or like and it like properly started to become a thing in the like 20s and 30s you know and into the 50s we're now we're now vibing the 
ramming the twenties again. So that's what seventy years ago. No, yeah, the fifties were seventy years ago, and they came out in the sixties. So sixty years ago, the Beatles were around, almost. That's a bit surreal, really, isn't it? Oh, Paul McCartney. He's a funny old bloke, isn't he? Funny bloke. Ringo Starr's even funnier, though. He's Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh. Wow. This is a lovely ramble. I should have made a little niche, and I? I'm not sure. Soft speaking is a niche. Good enough niche. It needs to stand out. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough. I think there was something I was going to talk about, but I've forgotten, so... Um, thank you for watching. Um, please like, and please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you once again for 100 subscribers. I'm well over the mark now. Unless I somehow drop like six subscribers and I I doubt it. There's been moments where I've dropped like one, but I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm comfortably into the hundreds now, you know. That would be really disheartening. <laughs> if they could just unsubscribe. <laughs> please don't please don't 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 unsubscribe. Subscribe. 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 Please like as well. Liking the video is what gets me more views. Um, it's how the algorithm works. So, liking super boosts my video. Um, if you watch to this part of the video, then you've done perfectly. You've you've watched, and video retention also does amazingly for my videos uh, to getting more views and um, I should make shorter videos or I should make shorts they do amazingly for that kind of thing they break the algorithm um, and I will comment as well user engagement also very good so thank you to the people that have been commenting on every video oh, it's been so nice I love talking to you guys um, and I hope to keep discussions going please talk about your music tastes please do it please right now go to the comments right now and talk about your music tastes your music tastes and I'll see you in the next video